Hey y'all, it's Crystal. Today we're going to learn how to make the waffle stitch. I'm using a number four medium worsted weight yarn and a five millimeter hook for this. For this small sample swatch, we're going to foundation double crochet 17, or if you're unfamiliar with foundation stitches, you can chain 19 and double crochet in the third chain from your hook. Those skip chains will not count as a stitch. And then you'll work a double crochet in each stitch across until you have 17 double crochet stitches. I'll start by making a slip knot and putting that on my hook. Then I'm going to chain two. Now I'm going to work foundation double crochets starting in that first chain I made. So I yarn over, insert my hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. I'll have three loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through one, and hold on to that same spot. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. That completes our first foundation double crochet. Holding on to that same spot at the bottom, I'm now going to repeat that until I have 17 foundation double crochet stitches. Again, you can do a chain 19, double crochet in the third chain from your hook and each chain across until you have 17 double crochets. The stitch multiple is four plus five if you want to use a different number. So we're just starting with one row of double crochets and we want 17 for this stitch pattern. This is gonna give us about a four inch swatch. Okay, so for row two, this will be the right side of our fabric. We're going to chain three which will count as your first stitch or do an alternative like I'm doing here. And then double crochet in the next stitch. In the following stitch, we're going to place a front post double crochet. In the next three stitches, we're going to place regular double crochets. And then we're going to place a front post double crochet in the following. And then repeat that three double crochets. and a front post double crochet. Keep repeating that until you have two stitches left. We have two stitches left here. We're going to place a double crochet in each of those last two stitches. Remember that our skipped chains here do not count on our first row as a stitch. Turn your work for row three. Start with our chain three or alternative. Double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to back post double crochet 
in the next, which was our front post on row two. So we're going back behind and around that stitch. And then in the next three stitches, we're going to front post double crochet. And then we'll back post double crochet in the next. And then we'll repeat that across until we have two stitches left. When you have two stitches left, you'll just double crochet in the top of each of those. And turn. Now we'll repeat row two. Start with our chain three or alternative. Double crochet in the next. Front post in the next. Double crochet in the following three. Front post in the next. And then repeat that across. So you have the two stitches left. double crochet in the last two stitches. We'll turn and now we're repeating row three. This is the wrong side of our work. Start with our chain three or alternative. Double crochet in the next. Back post double crochet in the following. Three front post double crochets over the next three. Back post in the following. And repeat that across until you have two stitches left. When you have the two stitches left, you're just going to double crochet in the top of those last two. Okay, so now you're just going to continue repeating those two rows for the height of your project. 
Be sure to stop after a row five repeat that's on the wrong side. Once you have done enough repeats for your pattern and you're ready to be done, you'll do one last row to mimic the beginning. So we'll start with our chain three or alternative, and then we're going to double crochet in the next, and then back post double crochet in the following. and then double crochet in the next three stitches. Then back post in the following, and then that is your repeat across to those last two stitches. And you double crochet in your last two stitches. And you're done. Now, if you are finished here, then you would go around and probably add a single crochet border. Or if you're making like a large blanket, you would add some kind of border, maybe um, double crochet or whatnot. But usually I recommend you you add a single crochet border around in the same color that you've made it in, no matter what border you're adding after that. So I'll link up that video for you in the description. And that is how you make the lovely textured waffle stitch.